All right, let's go ahead and get the paint protection on this hood of a Honda Accord 2023 Sport Hybrid. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use a kit on this one and we'll see how that goes. I'm definitely a fan of, of cutting hoods, you know, bulking them, and then we just do a four corner tack and squeegee everything out. Uh, so this will be kind of new to me. It's been a long time since I used a kit on something that was more difficult than like a Tesla hood. All right, let's go ahead and get this on there. I'm gonna go ahead and tack right here and then we'll pull everything forward like, to this corner. Let's do that. All right, so we want this like right at the edge. We don't want it really hanging over too much. Maybe just barely, if at all. Okay, so let's go ahead then and stretch this down to the front. Kind of make sure we don't have much free tacking going on. We're going to stretch this just over this edge here. Okay. And then we're going to make sure that we have about the same hangover over here. Okay, then we're going to tack this down. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and squeegee all of this out here on this edge. That way this stays stuck down pretty good when we go and stretch the other side into place. And then we'll just squeegee everything back that direction. All right, so let's double check on for free tacking. Okay, and then let's do this corner again. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. We're gonna stretch this direction to get rid of these fingers, and we're gonna stretch this direction to get rid of these fingers. Well, let's see. We're gonna go to this part first, and we're gonna line this up right where it needs to be, right about there. I'm gonna hold that in place with my finger, and then we're gonna go ahead and, well, hang on. I left a little distortion in the adhesive right there, which is probably fine, but I want it to look a little better than that. I'll go ahead and put that back in place, and then I'm gonna hold that slot in place with my thumb, with some pressure, and then we'll go ahead and squeegee this out. All right, and then we'll go ahead and stretch this into place. So what I'm trying to do there is kind of split the fingers, leave some here and leave some there. Let's go ahead and get some of these air pockets out here. Alright. Now we'll go ahead and since we kind of tack like this. We're going to want to take some of this material or 
some of this uh, soapy water more towards the middle so we don't accidentally drag it through an area that's already stuck down. Go ahead and take this back, making sure to come plenty far enough, uh, start plenty far enough forward here that we're starting in an area that's already been tacked down so we don't miss any of the slip solution and leave it behind. take uh, stuff more out towards the center. these distortions in the adhesive here if I move around just right. That's from having some of these fingers that go kind of sideways where there's a little bit of tension on the material. And if you lift it back up, it's starting basically to pre-tack in the area where it's got those lines. See how they're, it's got those there? Well, the areas that are tighter down start to pre-tack a little bit because they've got some more tension on them so they're really sealed down to the paint real well and then you can leave little distortions in the adhesive this direction when you go over it with your squeegee all right and then we'll go ahead and again take everything back from the front now Now that we've got everything squeegeed out, let's go ahead and take care of these fingers that are popping up around the edge. All right, so what we're gonna do here is just put some tack solution underneath this. So as you can see here, what I'm doing is just spraying this into my hand between my fingers, and that allows, and I've got my fingers holding the material up, and that just allows it to run right down in there. Instead of having to do like this, Alright, so on these areas, what I'm going to go ahead and do is a swipe and hold. And that'll keep them from coming back up. What I'm going to go ahead and do is put some, we're going to go with just water on this and we're going to get this whole edge sprayed out so there's no tap solution or soapy water in there. Go ahead and 
pre-wrap this now. Let's go ahead and do this. So what we're going to do is basically swipe past the edge and wrap around and then hold. So you definitely want to make sure that as you're going over that edge that you have a really consistent pressure on that edge. And that's why I'm using two thumbs and not just like on the sides. I've got my fingers mostly all the way across this and I'm able to wrap it around. So once I get to the edge, I'm actually pretty much only just using my thumbs to wrap it around and that'll get all the moisture out of that edge. And then I'm using my thumbs and my hands on top of the hood and I'm putting a lot of pressure on the material right over the edge. Well, see So now all we're going to have to worry about later is finish tacking underneath once it's completely dry and then heat sealing those edges and that's the process of a, a pre-tack and I think it's very worthwhile. I don't even think that that took 10 minutes although it feels like, <laughs> it feels like a while while I'm doing it. <laughs> Alright well if you found anything helpful here please uh, like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for taking a look.